Now and forever, we bring IT to life. Hello, my name is Newton Ayanti from the BMC Software Customer Support Team. Today, we will review configuring and using an automation principle in Blade Logics over automation for user mapping on a Windows target. Here, we have an automation principle configured named test user 01. This stores the username and password for a Windows local user, which I created on our test target. Here in the property dictionary, we also have a new server property, which has been created of the automation principle type named AP underscore prop one. This property will allow one to change which automation principle is used with any given target. Our current role, BL admins, has also been updated. In the Windows configuration portion of the Agent Tackle tab, the role is configured to use our new server property, AP underscore prop one, to determine the automation principle to use. Here, the option is also available to assign a specific automation principle for the role to always use. When configuring this option for a role, be sure to review each option to determine which may work best for your use case. Next, we'll take a look at the configuration of our target server. In the server properties view, we can now see our new property, AP underscore prop one. We will now set a value for this property. We selected an instance of the new automation principle we created for this demonstration, test user 01. Now the configuration is complete. When we access the server in our BL admins role, the user information stored in the automation principle will be used to log in on the target instead of the user mappings as defined by the users and users.local files of the RSCD agent on the target. So here we can now live browse the target from our server automation console. From the live browse, we can look at the registry, the local file system, and the local users. Now we've com completed a few live browse actions. We can take a look at the RSCD log, confirm that our automation principle information was used to complete the browse operations. So here is the RSCD log from our target server. We can see some from earlier operations that the privileged mapping was used to complete these actions, which used the agent tackle files on the target. Here we can see from our more recent actions after configuring the automation principle that instead of the privileged map message, we see the password logon message. This confirms for us that the automation principle detail was used. We can see that our local user, test user one, at our target server was used to log in to complete each of these operations, such as browsing the file system, retrieving local users, and gathering GPO policy information. Thank you for watching this demonstration for configuring and using automation principles within Blade Logic Server Automation.